right now, there's a state of emergency for all of Catawba County. The school system there has announced schools will be closed tomorrow due to heavy flooding. Many people had to leave their home due to rising waters. One entire neighborhood was even evacuated. Eyewitness News reporter Stephanie Snoko is outside an apartment complex in Hickory that had to be evacuated entirely. Stephanie, where is everyone staying tonight? Hey Liz, well some people are staying with family members, others are staying at a shelter at CVCC. Now conditions are obviously way better right now, but look, take a look at what's going on at this very moment. We've got crews right here putting up a new utility utility pole here on the right, but to the left we have another crew doing the same. But in the middle you can see that the road is still eroding. It's a lot worse than when we were here earlier at noon. Crews have also fixed part of the pipe, uh, but residents are hoping to return to their home soon. I go over to my door and the water's just rushing in. It's just. Phew. Flash flooding pushing families out of their homes. In the backyard is like a sea. The police knocked on everyone's door and saying that we had to leave. As early as 4 a.m. this morning, residents at Ridgecrest Apartments in Hickory had to evacuate. The roads are very slippery. Excessive rain from the last 48 hours caused this damage. I just thought it was going to be like a regular storm. It really, nothing really affects Hickory, so I, I wasn't even really scared. But then as soon as I woke up this morning, I'm like, oh my God. The Red Cross opened a shelter at CVCC. They're expecting at least 50 residents or more. Right now there's 38 checked in and we're just trying to keep them safe and fed and entertained for a while. Meanwhile, crews have been making repairs for hours after concrete on the road over this dam collapsed. Yeah, it's going to put a hardship on people. We don't know how long we're going to be out of the apartment. Well, crew members told me they're expecting to be here all night. The American Red Cross also says the shelter at CVCC will be remain open as long as residents need it. Of course, we'll continue monitoring the situation and bring you any new updates as soon as we get them. Back to you. All right, Stephanie, thanks so much. Hickory's mayor declared a state of emergency. In addition to people being forced from their home, the flooding has caused significant infrastructure damage to streets, bridges, and other public infrastructure. The fire department has already performed 12 water rescues in the last two days and has asked for more resources. The city is asking people to stay off the roads. Leaders say there have been several water line breaks and some homes may have lost water service.